hello everyone welcome to all of you so this is tutorial i am going to teach you on simple form so here we will first start with the learning that what is the simple scheme then we will try to implement the simple scheme in open form you can say that this simple scheme is the base of the all solver present in the open form okay so if you are able to understand the simple form then you can easily correlate everything that is being uh, stated in a, any given solver in the open form okay so uh, you as you already know that uh, generally these two questions are always solved in the code mechanics if you are able able to find out the exact solution for these two equations then you can easily claim your us dollar by clay mathematics institute so you can just search in wikipedia that six hardest problem of the mathematics then one of those six problem is the navier stokes equations the, here we are going to use the numerical method so clearly that we are not going to achieve this 1 million dollar because we are using the approximation only we are not providing the exact solution okay so e this is the continuity equations and this is the momentum equations okay so here the different terms are written here this is the external force this is the viscous term this is the pressure term and this is the inertial force so generally in cfd we solve these two equations so based on the different uh, problems this equation can be modified or solved differently okay so in simple form we are uh, we just in exclude this unsteady term and we solve other terms only okay however let's see that what problems occurs if you want to solve these equations and why simple scheme is necessary so this is the equation we want to solve and there is problem with this momentum equation that there is the non linearity term and there's another problem is that if we write this continuity equation and momentum equation in different uh, terms of the different components of the velocity and different component of the pressure then to find that there will be three equations of the momentum for the vx vy and vz and one continuity equations so there you will find the four equations and there are four unknown that is the vx yz component of the velocity and the pressure there is a four unknown four equations but there is no any explicit equation for the pressure so that is why it is very hard to solve this problem so for that purpose we have to find out one up uh, one solution so that we can sort out this problem of the uh, having not any explicit equation of the pressure so this nonlinearity we can solve by the iterative method so we are not going to find out the exact solution so we are just using the iteration method in generally in simple form we use the picard type of iteration method and uh, second this again this problem is still left that we have no any explicit equation for the pressures so for that purpose let's understand that how can we couple this pressure with the velocity and we can use the iteration method to solve the these two equations so this is the this is what called the simple scheme so coupling the pressure into the velocity is what we are going to learn so if we want to write this two equation in the matrix form we can write it here here so you can see here that fv is the this body force and zero is from the continuity and v and p is the velocity component and pressure component and different coefficient of the velocity and pressure can be written in this form okay so this is a just a simplification matrix form of the this two above equations so you can see here that if you multiply this matrix into the v and p so first term will be give the this momentum equation and from this second term we can get the continuity equations now there is problem that this is the saddle point so this matrix has the one zero component in the diagonal so this uh, this is referred as the saddle point and therefore we are unable to find the solution so there will be different algebraic equations and because due to this saddle point we cannot find the solution for this algebraic equations 
so what we can do we can find an equation for pressure using some modifications okay so what is the modification so we can just decompose this a matrix that is f b transpose b and 0 and we can decompose this a matrix into the lower triangular matrix form and upper triangular matrix form so this a can be written as f0 and this value and this identity matrix into f inverse into bt into identity matrix to 0 okay this uh, this matrix is generally known as the score complement matrix and this ma this kind of matrix is generally used to find out the inverse of any matrix or if you want to decompose any matrix then this this complement compl matrix is being used okay now if you decompose here this a matrix then we can write this whole term as a this form so this a matrix is been decomposed into l form and u form and this is the v and p and this is the fp and zero okay now this if we multiply this two term then we can write it as a v star and p star okay so this is the some intermediate steps so we are considering it as a v star and p star here uh, i must tell you that this f inverse is the just inverse of the its a diagonal components okay so it is not the inverse of the complete f matrix it is just in inverse of the its a diagonal components so now let's develop the in simple scheme okay so this you have seen that from here we have found out this this uh, matrix and from here we have found out this matrix okay so starting with this second line equations we will first solve for the v star that is the intermediate velocity using the initial value of pressures so we will solve for the momentum equation okay so from the previous value of pressure we will find out the v star using the momentum equations okay so this is the one kind of a momentum equations okay now when we, when we will find out the v star so using this v star we will find out the p star value so from second row we will, we will find out the pressure pressure value okay so we will update the value of pressure using this v star which we have found out the in the first step okay so first we have solved the momentum equation then we have find out the this uh, is p star using the this v star okay so here we can we have find out the v star and from v star we will find out the p star value okay. now we will go to the this matrix this top top matrix and here you can see that this is the velocity character step okay so here we are correcting the velocity okay so this is the v star is equal to v star minus d inverse bt into p star so, so you can see here that this is the d inverse that is the inverse of the diagonal matrix of the f so we are not taking the f inverse here we are taking the d inverse that is the inverse of the components of the diagonal matrix of the f matrix okay so this is the it step here we are updating the v star value and we have already updated the p star value and again we will go to the first step and using this p star we again find out the v star and from v star we again find out the p star and from p star we again find out update the value of v from here we can just we will iterate these steps 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 until the intermediate difference between the two velocity or two pressure is uh, up to the your tolerance so you, you will provide some tolerance value for the v and p and if the tolerance is the tolerance can tolerance is achieved then you will say that the value of v and the solution of v and p has been found out so this is the complete step of the simple form and let's uh, let write in, in the form of steps so first we are solving the momentum equation using the pressure field so we are taking the previous pressure field and we are solving for the velocity and since it is solving the momentum equation so therefore the resulting velocity converts the momentum equation but not the mass okay now using the pressure corrector and velocity corrector step we will impose the mass con mass conservation and we will update the value of b and update the value of p okay and this process will be re uh, repeated until and unless we will find out the tolerance which we are going to provide 
now uh, let's go to the open form terminal okay so we are going to just write code by ourselves so if we write this two equation in the form of the discretization so this is the second equation so if i write this momentum equation in the form of the coefficient of the matrices the equations can be write in this way this is the value of the current cells and these are the values of the neighboring cells okay this is the body force and this is the pressure quantity okay now this complete term in open form is defined by a operator that is the h so this h you can write as the body forces min minus an into un so so now if you modify this complete line using the h operator you can write it as the ap up is equal to hu minus delta p so this is the same equation if you want to write in terms of the open form h operator now if you apply the continuity equations so if you write this complete term in the form of up you can write as up is equal to hu by apu minus del p upon apu okay now if you put this complete up into this term that is continuity equation so we are assuming the incompressible flow so the row will be cancel out and this complete continuity equation can be written into the this form is equal to del dot u ap inverse into del p equal to del dot ap u inverse into h u okay so this this is the continuity equation and this is the momentum equation that we are going to use for applying the applying the simple scheme okay so remember this is the momentum equation and this is the continuity equation so these are the steps we are going to follow while we are going to code the simple schemes in open form so first we will solve the uv equation using the old pressure now obviously this u vector will satisfy the momentum equation but it will not satisfy the continuity equations so using this u value we are going to update the pressure value so where we are solving the continuity equations okay so remember here this equation we have gotten from the continuity equations so here this aup in both side is in open form you can use that operator that is u equation dot a and that h u as i explained you earlier that can also be obtained from u equation dot h vector these two operator here you can see the functions we are going to use on the u equation matrix okay so i told you that for specific reason only we take the diagonal uh, only we take the inverse of the diagonal elements of the this apu vector so this is this can be obtained from using the a functions defined for the u equation matrix now once we obtain the pressure field and this apu we are going to update the value of up okay so we will update the up and also we will update the pressure field okay and this equation will iterate multiple times so this is the approach we are going to follow here and we are going to code here so if we write this two equation in the form of the discretization so this is the second equation so if i write this momentum equation in the form of the coefficient of the matrices the equations can be write in this way this is the value of the current cells and these are the values of the neighboring cells okay this is the body force and this is the pressure quantity okay now this complete term in open form is defined by a operator that is the h so this h you can write as the body forces min minus an into un so so now if you modify this complete line using the h operator you can write it as the ap up is equal to hu minus delta p so this is the same equation if you want to write in terms of the open form h operator now if you apply the continuity equations 
So if you write this complete term in the form of up, you can write as up is equal to hu by apu minus del p upon apu. Okay. Now if we put this complete up into this term, that is continuity equation. So we are assuming the incompressible flow. So the row will be cancelled out. And this complete continuity equation can be written into the this form is equal to del dot u a p inverse into del p equal to del dot a p u inverse into h u. Okay. So this this is the continuity equation and this is the momentum equation that we are going to use for applying the applying the simple scheme. Okay. So remember this is the momentum equation and this is the continuity equations. So these are the steps we are going to follow while we are going to code the simple schemes in open form. So first we will solve the UV equation using the old pressure. Now obviously this U vector will satisfy the momentum equation but it will not satisfy the continuity equations. So using this U value we are going to update the pressure value. So where we are solving the continuity equations. Okay, so remember here, this equation we have gotten from the continuity equations. So here, this AUP in both sides is in open form. You can use that operator that is U equation dot A, and that HU, as I explained you earlier, that can also be obtained from U equation dot H vector. These two operators here, you can see the functions we are going to use on the U equation matrix. Okay. So I told you that for specific reason, only we take the diagonal, uh, only we take the inverse of the diagonal elements of the this APU vector. So this is, this can be obtained from using the A functions defined for the U equation matrix. Now once we obtain the pressure field and this APU, we are going to update the value of up okay so we'll update the up and also we will update the pressure field okay and this equation will iterate multiple times so this is the approach we are going to follow here and we are going to code here so let's go to the ubuntu terminal so here you can see here that i have already created this understanding simple form solver using the form new app command and uh, we are going to code in this .c folder. These are the steps I have written already. Okay. So this is step, okay. Now these are the assumptions I have taken. So we are taking the steady states in compressible flow and we are using the viscosity concept constant and we are neglecting the body forces for this purpose here. Now these are the schemes that I have already explained you in the slide lectures. Okay, so first we will solve the U using the previous paper, the pressures. Then we will calculate the A inverse and also we will calculate the H operator. Then we will solve the pressure characteristic and from here we will find the update the U and finally we will update the P. Okay, so these are the steps we are going to follow. So the basic difference between these header files and this include folders is that these are the basic libraries that you are going to use while we were solving anything written inside the int body. Remember in last class, we have just written, we have just created the time object without including these things. Okay, so either you can write here some, some couple lines of codes or just you can write here just by including the file name here. Okay, so what I meant to say that I suppose if you want to print hello world. So if you want to print hello world. So either you can print like this. Okay. Or you can just include a file. Include a file. Any file name be anything. Okay. So either you can write in this way. Or you can include any file. Which should be present here. Okay, so let, let me just create one file here. Comment it out any file. 
and I can write here info okay so I can just comment it out I can either print like this or I can include this include command okay so let me just comment out everything and let me show you the result F6 double click. So I compile the solver and let me run the solver. So you can see here that it is printing the same thing which has been coded in this file in a file okay this is one way you can write code here so either you can write the same thing which has been written in this state root case dot h or you can just include the file here so let me explain the every steps here okay so first we are going to start with checking the folder structure okay so these things this set root case dot h is going to check the folder structure and it will check that whether this constant folder in the system folder is present or not okay so remember if you want to solve a simple scheme then this constant folder because of the mesh generation or grid generation, generation is important so that's why we are going to first check the set root case or folder structure now you are going to create the time object okay because we want to iterate so if you want to iterate for a multiple times or different iteration number then this create time which is important that is being created from the control dict so it will be okay now we are going to create the mess object because we are using the numerical iteration method so for that purpose your whole geometry should be in the form of the grid okay so that's why the missing object is required where we are going to read the missing utilities or missing functionalities so this create control dot h will create the, the object for the loops so there are many types of looping available in open form so like the simple form loop piso loop pimple loops okay so the simplest loop is the simple loop okay and what is the piso loop and pimple loop that we maybe i can explain in other tutorials but you here you should remember that it will create the simple loop which is the simplest loop okay simple loop it is create only the outer looping okay so if you want to create the inner looping or other kind of looping then you are going to use the piece or pimple form so these things we have done okay. so loop object will read the time objects and from the time objects or time functions it is going to control the loop okay so you can see here that i have created this loop okay so this loop, a simple dot loop is the functions which has which we have gotten got from the create control dot h and it's this create control dot is taking the simple from the simple control dot h okay so he, create control dot h can be used to create any kind of piece or pimple or simple loop but it is getting the idea of simple from the this simple control dot h library okay so that's why we are using the simple dot loop and it will create the time from this run time so last class i have told you that create in create time dot h we create always create a object with the name of the run time okay so this is the name of the object and we can access the different functionality of the run time like this so double link okay so if i run this same solver on a test case so here here we are not solving anything just we are 
accessing the runtime timeline. So if I run here, so you can see that it is printing the just time name. So for present time, it is not solving any equation. It is just reading the this control doc dot dict, and from here it is reading the start time and this delta t in the end time. Okay. So we can see on that. So it's starting from the zero, okay, and it is taking the delta t is equal to zero point zero zero five. So it is taking the time zero point zero zero five, and it will run up to the zero point five, okay. So it will run up to the zero point five. So this is the different functions, different functionality of the runtime. Now let's start the coding for the this simple scheme. So for that purpose, first we have to declare some variable. Okay. So similar to this include any file, we can create one file name as a create field dot h. Okay. Because if you write every coding here only, so that then it will be very messy. So that's why we can create another folder name as the create fields dot h. So this folder name I created name as the create fields dot h and copy these things and paste here and I'm renaming it as a create fields dot h create fields dot h. So let me remove everything from here. What are the different variables we are going to need? So that variables can be this u vector that is the velocity vector pressure field p and one we required the mu okay remember i told you that we are going to solve for the p value that remember that i told you that we are solving for the kinematic pressure it is a pressure by rho so that's why we are not going to require the density okay so because we are solving p by rho and here we are also taking the kinematic viscosity so these three things we are going to need and another thing we are going to need that is a p hold so we are going to store the pressure from the previous iteration this four quantity us are going to require here okay so let's start with the velocity so here this is a way of declaring a volume scalar quantity okay so we are declaring is at it as a io object okay whose value will be reading readed from the this runtime time name okay so you remember that that's why i printed you here the runtime time name so this pressure field will be read for the runtime time name and for the mesh object okay so it will be read for the all the grid generated and that's it should be must read okay so without reading this pressure field the solver is not going to be run that is what meant here and it will be auto run after the compiling so after each compilation it will be auto run so this is the way of declaring the pressure field now let's declare the velocity field so i can declare it as a u and it is the value vector field that is not the scalar field and here I can write it as a okay. So this is the way of declaring the velocity field, and it will be also read for the each time step, and it will be read for the mesh, and it is going to be must read, and it is going to be auto write after the each solution iteration. Now sometimes it is necessary that you want to apply the relaxation factor. So for this that purpose, we have to store this pressure hold value. We can save it in as a p old quantity, and it is the pressure hold. Okay, and it will be run for the each time step. So this is the meaning of here, and we can write here also p old, and it should be not the auto write. So we can write here no write. So because we don't want to write for the each step. 
and we don't want to the read for the each step okay so it will not read it will just update by using the this pressure field okay so it will update the value of p volt from this p field okay and that's why we we are not going to declare any p old kind of folder in the zero folder okay so this three field we have defined p u and p old now we are going to define the mu so for that purpose we need to create one dictionary that can be name as the transport properties so i have created one dictionary that is a transport properties in the name of the transport properties and whose value is read from the constant folder and if any modification is done while running the solver that can be, that should be read by the rooted uh, that should be read by this compiler so if any any modification is done while compiling the solver that should be read by this solver okay and there is no need of writing this transport properties dictionary okay now in this dictionary i want to say the solver that look for the mu so i am saying the compiler that read the dictionary transport properties and find a keyword that is the new and whatever the value is given read it as a new okay and the dimension should be this that is the dimension of the kinematic viscosity now in momentum equation there is a term that involve the phi so in what is phi phi is the surface interpolation of the velocity onto the face okay so, so for that purpose i can write here okay and there is no need to write these things and i will i can write here surface scalar field so so phi is the surface scalar field so i can write here that name is phi and i want to give a keyword as the phi and it will read for the each time step and there should be no read so i don't want to read it i will just use the equation here no right and i can just write the equation that is a if we say interpolate u dot m s dot s f so this is going to give me the phi value okay now for applying the relaxation kind of things we we are going to need another dictionary that is fv solutions so we can write here fb solution and we can write also here the fb solution and we are going to name it as it it is going to read from the system folder okay and must read if modify so if any modification is done during the compilation this is going to modify it and we don't need to write for every every time step so these things we have declared here we have created some other variable in the dictionary of solution and these variables are going to need it for the relaxation things or setting up the reference value for the pressure field now we are going to this now we are going to code for the simple schemes and uh, before that maybe we can compile it and let's see that whether there is error or not so i think this declaration of the variable part is done in this part we have done with this create field strategy we have created all the field necessary for the simple schemes now we are going to write everything whatever we want to compile for the simple schemes in this loop okay so these are the steps which are, we have to follow if we want to use a simple algorithm okay so first we will solve for the uv equations using the previous value of the pressures now here the step 1 is that we are going to solve this 
up values using this pressure previous pressure term okay so this equation we are going to write in the solver this is the equations we are going to solve to calculate the u values using the values of the pressure from the previous iteration okay so remember here there are two methods in open flow that is the fvm method okay that is the called as the finite volume method that is also known as the implicit method and other another method is the fvc method that is also known as the finite volume calculus method and that is also known as the explicit method so logic behind this implicit and explicit method is that if we are we have some unknown terms okay unknown variables in a given term then we use the finite value method and if we want to calculate the value right there then we use the fvc so for example here if we are going to solve for the u value then the unknowns are there in the convection term and also u is the unknown in the diffusion term but since we are using the pressure value from the previous iterations so we want the 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 value of the pressure gradient right here only so that's why we are going to use the fvc for this pressure gradient okay so we can write here that fvm and uh, du that is the divergence term of phi comma u minus fvm that is the laplacian of laplacian of nu comma u equals to minus fvc because we want to calculate the pressure gradient here grad and p okay so the same equation in the form of matrix we can write here in like this form okay so here you can see that for this convection term we are using the vm method for this diffusion term we are using the laplacian method and for this gradient method gradient term we are using the fvc method okay so after solving the equations it will generate a matrix which is kind of the vector matrix and the matrix is a u equation matrix okay so this is the complete term we are generating for this equation okay now after it will generate matrix we want to solve this u equation matrix okay so that's why we will use the solve method here okay now using here it is solving this u equation matrix using the pressure values from the previous iteration okay but this u u values is solving satisfying the only the momentum momentum equation it is not satisfying the mass transfer term okay so for that purpose we are going to apply the mass conservation here so what i mean that we have finding this u value using this equation that is the momentum equations so if you want to satisfy the mass conservation then we have to solve this equation also okay so for that purpose remember that in open form there is operator that is there, there is a one function that is dot a functions which will give the this value this ap value and there is a one function that is dot h which will give the this h value okay so we are using, we are going to use these two functions here and we are calculate we are going to calculate this complete term so to calculate the ap term we can write that value scalar field a so that will give that we can store the a value v equation dot a h value by using the h operator we can just find the h value so here we have finded out the ap value and this h value using this two term okay now this ap is the diagonal 
matrix okay so only the diagonal components are there in ap matrix so it is very easy to calculate the inverse of the diagonal matrix okay so just by taking the inverse just by taking the reciprocal of the each term of this diagonal matrix you can find out the you can find out the inverse of any diagonal matrix okay so this same concept we are going to apply here and this this multiplication of this two term ap inverse into the h u we are going to denote it as a denote it as a h by a term and this remember this this del dot del will be multiply here and it will it will form as a laplacian operator okay so here also we are going to calculate the inverse of the a matrix let me store it as a a inverse so i can write here as 1 by 0 by a that is going to give me inverse of the diagonal matrix so a has now we are also going to calculate h by a okay so that is h by a is to multiply a inverse with the h okay so it will give me the h inverse a inverse into the h matrix so that so that a inverse multiply by h will be this term okay so this is the a inverse into the del p so this if del p we will taken out this will be the laplacian of the a inverse into the pressure field okay so for that purpose we have to take interpolate this a inverse onto the faces of the given cell okay so that's why we are going to find out the surface scalar field and we will interpolate this a inverse so let me find out the surface scalar field here and it will be inverse flux of a inverse and for that purpose we are going to use the fvc method because we want to calculate that quantity we are we don't want to generate some unknowns from this quantity so we will use a fvc method and there is the interpolate function is there in open form and we want to interpolate this a inverse so it will interpolate this a inverse to the given surface and it will find the flux of that a inverse okay now we are going to solve this so now we are going to solve this equation that is the laplacian of a inverse into the p and uh, equal to that is the grad of the this h into ms h by a term okay. so this complete equation we are going to write at as at as a p equation so here we are generating the scalar matrix and that is the p equation scalar matrix and that a inverse flux is this term and this is the pressure term and this is the we are we have find it out the h by a term so this we are taking the h by a term okay so this equation is being solved if we apply the method here e e equation dot solve method okay so this equation is going to solve we apply the solve method however remember that we have taken some reference value so we have to set the reference value for the pressure and so here i am setting the reference value for the pressure so we these two variables we have declared in the fb solution and this therefore we can use this refresh uh, pdf cell value and pdf value okay so what it this will do it will generate a matrix so here we are using the fvn method so it will generate a matrix where the pressures 
components are the unknowns and using this complete uh, set of algebraic equations it is it is going to give me the pressure character value okay now using this pressure character value we are going to update the value of u so for updating the value of u we will use this equation so remember this two terms we have already calculated this h operator and this a operator we have already calculated and this p we are taking from the this pressure character step so using this value of p is we will calculate the grade p and then we will find out the updated value of the u so we can write here that u equal to and that is the a inverse multiply by a h so u equal to a inverse multiply by h minus again a inverse multiply by h into multiply by a inverse minus a inverse multiply by grade p so multiply by fbc into grade p so this is updating the value of u okay now from this updated value of u we will calculate the phi term okay so you remember that there is the phi value and that is the interpolation surface interpolation of the velocity field so that should also be updated here so to update the value of phi we can write here that if we see interpolate u so we are interpolating the u so we will take the dot product with the mesh surface vector okay we will take the dot product with the surface mesh surface vector. okay so we are calculating the phi that is the interpolation of u onto the faces and then we are taking the dot product with the surface vector of the mesh this is what we are calculating the phi from the updated value of the u okay because we are using this phi value in this equations okay that's why this phi should be also updated after each iteration okay now remember we have taken one quantity that is a p old where we are storing the old pressure value okay so we can store this p value into the this new variable that is a p well p old so this is the complete simple algorithm so it start with solving u equations then if we were using the pressure character test and updating the pressure value and then we are updating the u value we using that u value we are calculating the phi value and then we are also updating a, updating it in the p hold okay so what is the use of this p hold so sometimes some relaxation factor is being used sometimes relaxation factor is being used because of the convergence problem sometimes it happens that solver does not convert so easily so for that purpose we take the sum factor of the previous pressure value also and sometimes using this relaxation factor the problem of non convergence can be easily avoided so therefore we have taken one factor that is alpha in the fv solutions okay so if you remember we have taken one factor that is alpha in create fields dot h and it, this alpha is accounted for the relaxation factor so we can write here as p equal to alpha multiply by p plus 1 minus alpha multiply by p old okay so this is what relaxation factor is doing here so almost all the steps we have done but one thing still required that we want to update the boundary 
field also. Okay. So from after solving this equation, it is also required that update the boundary field of the new equations and the pressure field also. Okay. So for that purpose, we can write these two equations that is u dot correct boundary conditions and p dot correct boundary conditions. So, so it is going to correct the pressure field and velocity field at the boundary also. Okay. So all the steps of the simple form we have written here. So I think uh, everything has been done. Now we want to also write the field values after each iterations. Okay. So we can write this command that runtime write. Okay. So it will write the write the fields u and p after whatever specific time you will specify in the control date. So this is the complete simple form schemes we have written here. Now we can compile this solver. Oh, I hope some error will be there. So let me see what are the errors. So error, this one is showing that cannot convert the vector field operator into the scalar field. Okay, so it this dot h operator will give the vector field. Okay, so here it should be vector field. So value vector field, it should be written here. And second error is I think it's related to this only. Okay, so let's me again compile here. Okay, so again there is some error in this equation. Okay, that should be also volume is volume vector field. This should also be volume vector field. Now let me again compile here. So we have generated one solver that is the understanding the simple form. Okay. So let me uh, go to the test case. Now let's run the test case. So for that purpose, these two folders should be present here. That is the P and U, because in create field and create field start edge, where we, I have written this P and U, and that should be must read. Again, there should be one transport properties folder that is in the constant folder. So transport properties file that should be in a constant folder. So if I open the constant folder. There is one transport properties and there is the mu field. Okay. And after this u zero folder is okay, constant is okay. Now in system folder, this for messing, mess creation, this control dict is present for the time control. This every scheme should present here for the discretization to discretize the different term. And this is the FB solution. Folder. So remember here in in create phase dot h we have asked this three value it is alpha p ref and p ref cell and p ref value and that should be present in the every solution folder. So that's why we are declaring declaring this three quantity that is the alpha p ref cell and p ref value. So I think everything okay for this test case. I can run OF6. Okay, so this is created our open form environment. Now I can run block mesh. So this has been generated the or meshing. And now I can run the understanding the simple form. It's saying it is solving the equations. The equations will run up to the time step 100. And if you open the control dict file, so you can see here that it's starting from zero and it will go up to the 100. Okay, and after each time steps, the folder will be created. Okay, so this is the uh, interval for writing the folder. So after 100 time step, it will create one folder. Okay. So see here that it is created one folder after the 100 time steps. Now, if you want to visualize here, this is the paraform. This is the U, and we have solved for the last step and maybe we have take some other good color so this is the 
U field we have. This is the pressure field, and this is the U field. Okay. So this is the solution by using our own simple form solver. So I hope this lecture is helpful for you. So thank you to thank you to all of you for watching this video. And please subscribe my YouTube channel.